What's going on, YouTube fam? Mikey here with me, Ancient, I'm and Uncle Ace, shooting another high adventure video. Yes, the finger of high adventure has been activated. We are out here today with another cook off throwdown, bro. I'm two and one. I okay. won two in a row. No, you know, actually, I reviewed the tape. Oh, You're wait. actually three and one. Oh, really? Yep, three, three and one. We've done four. That's right. Cook-offs. Guys, I am woefully behind. I need to catch up. Today is the day we turn it around for Team Micah. Uh, yeah, it's 2020 and we're still dabbing. Today we That's have out. to make... No, no, it's done. That's never. Out. The dab is never out. Today we have to make a fish burrito. Now, does it have to be a catfish burrito? No, it can be any fish. Any I'm kind of I'm going for a crappie actually myself. Oh my. Tender any kind of fish. Crappie. But it has to be a burrito. Of course. Me ancient is He's the judge. Judge. The best job on the boat. So guys, behind me, my camera might not pick this up. I'll pick it, I'll show you guys here in just a minute. But there are literally thousands of crickets floating along the top of the water. It's a little bit breezy today. We have beached ourselves on the bank right over here. Bro, we're gonna go out and we're gonna go get bait. These are mm -hmm. big Mormon crickets, or as my friend Tyler would say, uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints crickets. <laughs> so, guys, we're gonna hop out on the bank. We're gonna collect a bunch of these crickets I say, up. These are the biggest crickets I've ever seen. Yeah, dude. These you know, are monsters. In these fact, are pet store crickets. Yeah, these are like, yeah, you could have these you as a pet. Name them. Yeah. We're gonna hop out on the shore, collect a bunch of them up in a bucket. That is going to be our catfish bait today. Guys, enough talking about it. Let's go get bait and go get fishing. Bro, when you jumped, you kind of pushed the boat away. Now I'm a little nervous here. Give me a hand. No, 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 I got this. Ooh. That didn't work out. So me ancient's already in the water. He's just collecting crickets up. He's literally scooping them up with a net. Nicely done, Pops. So here's your typical cricket, guys. He's kind of an orangish red color, mostly red. Uh, that's like the, the, the majority of the crickets are this color right here. Let's go check out a couple of the other colors, though. Look at this, brah. It's like one in every 500 you find the green ones. Yeah, or the green ones. I'm pretty sure are lucky. Just a massive amount of crickets. Oh, this one's neat. Look at this. Check this out. The wind is blowing all the crickets right into shore here. In fact, look at where I'm walking. Crickets everywhere. Crickets everywhere. But look, look at these sticks. This is weird. This is like, this is eerie. Look at all of these crickets. Look at this. Just all over this. Just crickets for days. Here we go, Pops. What you got going on here? Oh, don't fall in. Here we go. How many do we want? Good, Good net. Look at that. Yeah, He's just scooping them up. Literally. Okay, I got about two dozen right there. Wow. That is incredible. Look at all those crickets. Those are all crickets. All crickets. All of them just all over there. Like it's like something out of a movie. Like crickets take over the world or like, something. Like you know, you've heard of like the birds, right? Yeah, or the ants. The you crickets. That movie, the ants yeah. that took over. That is weird. All right, well, we know where to get bait. Look at that. We literally have bait trying to climb onto the boat. Oh, look, we've already got bait on the boat. Yeah. All right, we got plenty of bait. There you go. Woo! That's big. Plenty of bait. Time to board back up. Let's go catfishing. Cricket just attacked me. These are like zombie crickets. He did. He just like totally jumped up. It just tried to start gnawing away on my hand. There you go. Couple of lively crickets. Let's get these out there. Send it! Guys, these crickets really stay on the hook really well too. So you can actually whip that sucker out there pretty good without fear of them flying off your hook. Perfect. Let's do that. See what happens. One. Nice, nice pops. Pop. It was like within what? 30, 30, 30, 30 seconds or something. Yeah, that's the same thing we experienced. Uh, it's like when the cricket's alive and kicking down there, yeah. they really draw, and you land right by a catfish, it really draws them in close. Sweet. That's a yellow one. Yeah, it is really yellow. Got him in the side of the mouth like we like. Excellent. Okay. Got him. Did you get him? Yes. Nice. This is live action. Yes. Nice. 
nice. Just uh, oh man, that is exactly what I wanted for the cook off. That's a I nice tender right young one. Size, yes. Here, guys, about a pound and a quarter. Oh. Tender young morsel. Mmm, perfect. Oh, guys! Again? I love that hook set. Good net. He just started. He just. I'm barely picked it up, and he's like, "Yeah, you're coming." Wait, what do you have there? That might be a smallmouth. Oh, first a smallie. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. That's cool. He did buy That's like a. Er, yeah. There you go. Bonus fish. I think. Yeah, I think you'd be able to throw him in a bag. Mm, the tournament. The tournament. Be close. Life. Yeah. On, on one of those tough days, like yeah. you guys had as yeah. kids. We've had tough like, days. Oh. We've had tournaments on this river, guys, where we cut, and it's like this river is full of 11 and three quarter inch smallmouth. <laughs> yeah, that's where. so true. That's so true. All right, guys. So we just noticed right down over there on the point back. I can still see it happening. There are fish smashing the surface over there. So there's a feeding frenzy going on over there. Could be bass, catfish. Probably going to be catfish with all these crickets that are floating in the water. So we're going to untie from the shore, drift down that way. I'm going to throw a bobber on, and we're going to see if we can start smacking some catfish on a bobber uh, because there is a major free feeding frenzy going on down there. Because this is what I got. I got a nice sized bobber, and then about two and a half feet down, we got a cricket. Not very far since they're hitting the surface. They're just ex oh, there's one right there. Just they're just exploding on this bank. Here we go. Bobber away. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, perfect cast. Oh, one just hit the surface right where my bobber landed. Come on, guys. Check this water out. Look at that. All of that. All of those are crickets. Look at that. Just literally scattered thousands of them. Like this guy right down here, look at that. All just struggling along the surface. And those fish are just gonna come up and just explode on them. All over the place, the wind is just blowing them right into this shoreline. Ace is on him. Yeah. Oh, wait, did he come? No, he's the one. Nice. All right. You're on the bottom, bruh? Uh-huh, on the bottom, right in that spot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? that? I don't know what this is. Is that a big old bass, bro? Like a big bass. Nah. Oh, do we have a bunch of big old smallies busting this? No, I swear I saw a catfish yeah, I up know here. I saw a cat, I'm sure. Yeah, let me get let me get the net. Let's see it. Oh yeah, that's a nice catfish. That's a big tubby. Good. Yeah. Man. That's a pretty fish. Yes. Nice, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get him in the bank. Guys, me ancient's in a one. Ace just pulled this big old tubby in. There we go. Another cat. Another nice cat. Oh, you had a cricket on it. Nice. All right. Well done. Pretty fish. Heck yeah. Ready? Here we go. Good fight. Yeah you, yeah, you got him. Nice. Yes. About a 30 seconds in the water. <laughs> and a nice catfish. Nice. Another nice fish. All right, guys. I'm back on the bottom. Let's go here. Like that cast. Let's see what we can do. Still have. I'm still zero. I've zeroed out so far. We went sailing along. There he is. Oh, there's my. Whoa! I almost lost my rod. Good grief. <laughs> whoa! There we go. Now we're cooking. Finally. Whoa, whoa, okay. I loosened the drag too much there. There we go. Oh, she just hammered that cricket. <laughs> Woohoo! There's the piggy we were after. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Thank you, Pops. There's a nice piggy. That'll eat. That'll eat real nice. Thank you. Woohoo, guys. Look at that. That's a pretty catfish right there. Nice. Go about five pounds would be my guess. Guys, this guy isn't going in the live right now. There's no time to waste. We're gonna get it filleted up immediately because I want to get it on some Sprite. 
or soaking in some Sprite uh, for a cook off today. All right, so our catfish is dead. I want the f highest quality meat possible. There's our first nice steak right there. Got one. Ancient's oh, yeah. on another fish. There you go. <laughs> Get in, Pops. Boy, that's the smallest one. He's, got, he's still got freckles. You see that? Yeah. Little freckly feller. <laughs> nice, Pops. Take our fresh catfish fillets. Guys, this catfish was alive like 10 minutes ago. Perfect. Got our fillets in our Ziploc bag. We got some nice Sprite. I want these fillets sitting in this Sprite. Oh, that thing's, he's gonna blow! Wow! Okay, there we go. I was a kind of anticlimactic. I expected the lid to go like bursting off. We're gonna take this Sprite. Oh, yes. And this is gonna help take care of some of that fishy flavor. Cause that catfish is super fishy. I'm gonna take a drink too. Mmm, that's delicious. We got both our fillets soaking in Sprite, just like we like. I'm gonna close that up, put the air out somewhat. Look at that. Both fillets sitting in a nice, a nice pool of Sprite, really. And those are gonna be sitting in there for a good hour or so. Perfect. Let's put these in the cooler. Booyah. Hi right, guys. In the meantime, oh, another cricket. We're gonna get our cricket back out on the bottom. Here we go. Perfect. So that right there. Now let's go ahead and make some homemade salsa. All right, so here are my ingredients for my salsa. I have a pepper, I have a green pepper, some cilantro, a tomato, a little olive oil, and some salt. Now guys, one thing I did forget was an onion, hopefully, it won't be too big of a loss, but then what we're going to do is we're going to cut all these ingredients up and then we're going to mash them all together here in this mortar and pestle and, uh, and then let that salsa kind of marinate together for a good hour or so and hopefully really bring out the flavor. In the meantime, guys, we're getting a bite on the fishing rod. Yeah! We, oh no, did he get... No. Yeah, we got him. Oh, just getting ready to make my salsa. And she just took off on that cricket. Oh, jumping. No, I think I'll be okay. Thank you. Look at that. Come on, baby. There we go. About three pounds. Nice. Nice. There we go. Circle hook pops right out. It's a pretty catfish. There she goes. want plenty of tomato in your salsa because it's kind of the main thing of salsa the star of the dish there we go guys there is our salsa right there really ah, i can't believe i didn't bring onion this would be so perfect if it just had a little onion in it but that's looking really good right there nice and fresh give it a taste test here and then we'll let all those flavors ruminate together for about a good hour time to try this salsa here mm. oh that's good yeah i like that let those flavors all meld together i think it'll get even better the green pepper adds a nice crunch if i had onion in there it'd add even more crunch but oh well it's, it could have been worse. I could have forgot like the tomato, right? And then like we wouldn't have basically had any salsa, but I take that. I'll take that all day. All right, my friends, it is time for me to flip my catfish. My guy both had the same idea um, of smoking catfish in Sprite, which makes catfish meat sweet. You getting a bite over there? And he's getting a bite. We'll ignore him. All right, let's open up this up here. I gotta focus on what I'm doing here. We've got catfish in here. I think this uh, this one of these little squeaks was mine, right? Here. Yes, 
this is one the one I'm using let's hope this is the uh, the game winning cat bring him over this cutting board game winner right there let's hope folks let's hope oh that's beautiful that's gonna make a nice burrito yeah, let's see what's in the guts of this thing here I can pretty much guess there's a lot of water in there then we got cricket carnage all oh, cricket carnage and the final step my friends sprite in the catfish I highly recommend you guys try it. it doesn't have to be catfish either it can be any fish Soak it for about an hour. It will make it taste better. I know that sounds weird, but there's something about the citrus and whatever's in in uh, Sprite. It permeates the meat. It really does make it better. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we had doubles, guys. Oh. In the middle of cooking, my yeah. tomatoes homemade salsa. Oh yeah. Come on. All right, Pops, we'll see who's oh, this bigger. You getting, you getting a good pull over there? Okay, mine's... Okay, I just pulled up a baby, basically. There still has freckles on there. <laughs> this is what you're looking for, buddy. Oh, man, yeah, that's definitely bigger. <laughs> nice. Don't swing him close to my salsa. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'll take Get a little fit. No, you can sing, swing him close to the salsa. No. Hey, hey. There you go. Look at that. Nice. About a pound and a half. Uh-huh. What do you got over here, Pops? Oh, I got a good one. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, come on to Papa. There you go, you big old pretty thing. We don't need any more of these bad boys, do we? I think the live is pretty full, and that's all, all right. we're going to keep. We can start releasing now. I think so. I let my last one go, too, so I just want to make sure. Guys, I'm going to start cooking. Bro, Bro is it on? start cooking? I think it's on. It's, I'm getting really hungry. Let's do um, it. Really hungry. Out comes the butane, and you know it's serious. So unlike Micah, who has all of his uh, homemade stuff over here, cooking up homemade rice and everything, I just bought everything at the store because um, I didn't realize we were doing Iron Chef America. Uh, I thought this was just a little YouTube video. Anyway, I got shredded lettuce, uh, Mexican-style blended cheese, got tortillas, I love this La Victoria red taco sauce. Got refried beans, and uh, and then I'm gonna use some, as far as seasonings go, some um, Everglades and my first cast seasoning with some salt. So let's get cooking. All right, guys, I'm gonna open up this can of beans first. One of the challenges I have is I only have one burner, so I have to figure out how to make all the ingredients, the, the beans, the melty cheese, and the fish come out all at once so the burrito stays warm. I, uh, Gordon Ramsay over here brought two burners which i didn't think of actually uh brought two burners on the boat so that all of his stuff could come out evenly but i'm going to be a little more tricky about this i might as well cook all the beans while we're out here because uh, after we make my dad a burrito i'm gonna want it, want, want one as well i'm gonna add a little bit of my first cast seasoning to these beans here because my first cast seasoning makes everything better. All right, we're gonna take the beans off and then we're gonna cook the fish as, as fast as we can. Hopefully the beans stay uh, stay plenty warm. Add a little. Oh it better, my, because I don't like cold beans. Oh my goodness, I forgot that I put mayonnaise in here for another fishing trip. I thought this was butter, it's mayonnaise. Uh, okay, no, I have oil with me. So we're gonna have to do a little improv here, guys. Always carry some oil here. <laughs> that is funny though. I'm going to add fish. Add some Everglades seasoning to this, which if I remember correctly, it has a little bit more of a, uh, just a rich flavor. Um, and I thought, it, it would, just based on the flavor of this, I thought it might go better with the burrito, even than my first cast seasoning, to be honest. So that's why I'm using Everglades and not my first cast seasoning with this fish because you, you, you have the fish competing with lettuce and cheese and beans and stuff, all the stuff of a burrito. And so you need a good strong flavored fish. Instead of putting a lid to cover our fish guys, this is a trick I learned the first time I ever made fish tacos. I'm actually gonna put this over. That'll help cook the fish and then it'll warm up the tortilla. 
I shall remove the warm burrito or the warm tortilla I mean Ooh, this is looking good the catfish is falling apart should be all boneless there mmm Now we're going to add some beans to it. I probably should have looked at how to wrap a burrito before I did this because there's a proper way. Uh, just thought of that. While the fish is still hot, we add the cheese. Do not skimp on the cheese. And lettuce. And red taco sauce. Sweet, and I just made my very first, this is the very first fish burrito I've ever made. All right, to begin with, we have our little portable cooker. I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want one of these. And we are using Zatarans, Spanish rice today. I also brought along with me to put in the rice some diced tomatoes. I've got in there. I'm gonna add a little water here. One of the reasons I chose this rice too is because it's not like you you, can, you don't have to like fry the rice down and then you put all your ingredients in. You just literally plop it all in and cook it all up. And empty that in. Ah, the heck with it. We'll just use it all. Our diced tomatoes go straight in. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna stir that all together. Now for the catfish portion of things, I'm going to start off with a little olive oil. Not a lot, just a little bit. So I have some Kingsford Cajun style. That sun's kind of right in the way. There we go. Cajun style Kingsford uh, all-purpose seasoning. And one of my favorite, Cajun's Choice blackening seasoning. Love this stuff. This is actually quite spicy, so you want to take it nice and easy. But if you want something better, use Ace Videos oh, first get, cast season. Get that out of here. So we've seasoned one filet. We just throw right there. Boom shakalaka. Filet number two. And put our spices on this side as well. Perfecto mundo, as they say. I don't know if that's what they say, but it sounded cool. I do not want to overcook my catfish. There's a little blackened on both sides of those. I'm going to go ahead and remove those for now because they're still going to cook a little bit. We're going to take all that out. Now let's clean this up really quickly. All right. I also brought some red tomato sauce. That we're going to finish cooking those catfish fillets in. Put that right in the heat. This is going to infuse those catfish with a nice like tomato-y flavoring. And it's going to help with that real fishy flavor that those catfish normally taste like. We're going to set it like in a little bed of tomato sauce right there. Perfect. And then last but not least, we're going to add a can of whole black beans. Not all of it, but just some. I've rinsed these beans. I'm just going to sprinkle them over because no burrito would be complete without some beans in it, right? I like this black bean. It goes really well with the hardiness of the catfish. So just, we're just going to mix all that in together right there, guys. I'm going to let that cook for a little bit. Our rice is almost done. We're going to be ready to go. Take a look at our rice. Look at that. Look how that is just thicked up perfectly. That is going to be ready for our burrito. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tortilla and lay it right over the pan there. Then that way it kind of warms up. That fish is almost done. Getting ready to serve. All right. It is time to make a burrito. Get some of those chunks of this catfish off. That's what I wanted to do. Make sure that catfish was nice and flaky. Make sure we get beans in that burrito. Oh yeah. Then we're also going to sprinkle. I know lettuce is normally what you put in a burrito, but I've got a little cabbage and um, cabbage and carrot topping for this one just because it adds a little more crunch that I'm looking for especially with that big meaty catfish and then last but not least some of that fresh salsa garnished right in there oh yeah that is a loaded catfish burrito right there 
Dude, first ever fish yes, burrito. This was one of the more difficult ones just because you have the challenge of making a fish into a burrito, which to me, it's like fish for breakfast. I'm like, no thanks. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. all right, dude, without further ado. All right, Pops. So let's try, uh, you know what? I'll you know, try Aces first. There you go. There you okay. go, because he's the guy that he won last. He was the champion me. before. Let me say a little prayer there here. Go. All right. Oh, boy, here we go. Now that was a burrito bite right there. This is my fish cheese burrito, La Ace. La Ace? That's good. Could you give me my water over there? Now we got water. water to cleanse the palate a little bit here. Thank you. This is Micah's black bean blackened catfish burrito. All right, just dive in. Fresh right homemade salsa. Mm. Fresh rice. Hang on to that. Hang on to him. He's gonna drag this part out as long as possible. Okay, another bite of this. One more. There you go. One more. One more bite here. Go. I feel like that homemade burritos, the homemade uh, tortillas kind of let me down because it's kind of flaky. Oh. And like, yeah, it, it's it's not holding together like I had envisioned. Hopefully the taste is will uh, will mask it. I don't know. No, don't try that Jedi stuff. Mine either. still looks like a burrito, if I may just point that out. Yeah, but mine looks like something that you'd go to your grandma's house and get in the backyard on a Saturday afternoon, and you're just like, oh, I love grandma's burritos. So, this, that burrito looks better. Uh-oh, but, a lot of beans. is there a butt? That, does a butt look, that looks like something from like Taco Bell, straight out, bro. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Is that a good Hey, I, I like Taco Bell, yeah. so. This one's a mess. I'm gonna tell you something. That that is a good burrito. Uh, and and that has the beans in it, which tastes more like a, a you go which out to eat and eat it. Traditionally Mexican. Yeah, but it, they're the they're, they're the um uh crushed beans. what do you call them? The the uh refried uh, beans. Refried beans. This has like I don't know, does it have refried beans in it or not? It's, it's, it's got black more, beans. There's more texture in this one. I like that one. That's a little, I hate to say this, it's kind of mushy. It's good tasting, a little mushy. And, you know, I don't usually like the heat. Right. But that's got a good little, you know, just right heat. Just. So, boom. This time, <clears throat> Micah, your uh, burrito is the winner. Yes, Team Micah! Good Bro. Game. Good yeah. job. He totally, I, I came... And I was totally, like, I just got stuff from the store. I'm thinking this is just, you know, this is just YouTube for a few hundred thousand people. No. And Micah comes like it's Iron Chef America. No, dude, I don't know. Dude, here. for all I know, Gordon Ramsay and could show up on this boat one day. And be like, you could I be want to see boy. one of your burritos. He doesn't get deep before I do, though. Uh, right. And, and so I got to be ready. I got to be ready. <laughs> YouTube fam, thank you so much for watching, bro. Good, good job. Good game. Good game. Thank you, me ancient. Nice. Thanks for judging it once again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and both the recipes. And as always, we will see you in the next one.